Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province recently announced its plan to develop publicly owned idle lands in the province, including those reserved for public utilization, as vegetable gardens for use by urban residents. Developed last year on a 14,000 square meter site in Yongin City, these provincial vegetable gardens are used by more than 2,000 residents. Other provincial vegetable gardens in Suwon City provide local children with ecological experiences. Encouraged by their popularity, Kyungi Province plans to supply an even greater number of vegetable gardens this year. The new provincial vegetable gardens are located in the cities of Hwasong, Gimpo and Goyang. With a total area of more than 64,000 square meters, these new garden lots can serve more than 10,000 users in the province. These vegetable garden lots are available to residents of Gyeonggi province, both individuals and groups. Users will also be provided with a farming consultation service and invited to food sharing events. Applications for Kyungi Provincial Vegetable Gardens can be made from February via the designated website or by calling the Kyungi Agro Food Institute. Kyungi Province recently announced that it will refine public office terminology by replacing 114 official terms such as those that are loan words or can be improved with more appropriate terms. Among official terms used in public and private documents, there are many originating from foreign languages or unnecessarily difficult Chinese characters. Kyungi Province has selected 114 such terms and will replace them with more appropriate alternatives. GTV examined some of these terms. Those terms derived from difficult Chinese characters will be replaced with easier terms, while those originating from other foreign languages will be replaced with Korean terms. Also, rigid terms will be replaced with common descriptions. For example, preceding superior case will be replaced by exemplary case and widow with late Mr. X's wife. The new terms will be recommended to all public offices in the province for use from this year. Kyungi Province launched a public service support program for NGOs this year. Those NGOs that are legally supported and those already receiving provincial subsidies are excluded. Qualifying organizations will be provided with support ranging from 3 million to 50 million Korean won. Applications are being received via a related website and by mail as well as in person at related offices from January 13th to 23rd. On January 9th, the province held an introductory briefing on this program. On January 7th, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung attended the New Year's kickoff meeting at the East Kyungi Commercial Chamber and assured maximum financial and administrative support for northeastern Kyungi regions. Governor Lee also assured utmost efforts to create a fair environment for business people in these regions. This meeting featured more than 200 participants, including national and provincial assembly members, and the mayors of Namyangju City and Guri City, as well as the director of the East Kyungi Commercial Chamber. Last year, Kyungi Province saw 172 wildfires, accounting for 26% of the national total. However, thanks to firefighting helicopters, the total area damaged amounted to only 1% of the national total. This year, through the operation of 20 helicopters in 20 localities, the province has initiated a golden time system that targets the arrival of firefighting helicopters at fires within 30 minutes. Last summer, Kyungi Province operated summer shelters for mobile laborers, including mail carriers and couriers. The province will now operate winter shelters for such laborers 
at more than 240 locations, including public facilities and fire stations. With a new heater and drinking water, the resting area in this fire station was transformed into a winter shelter for mobile laborers, such as mail carriers and couriers. Users can also request medical checkups by qualified rescue personnel. Following the operation of summer shelters for mobile laborers last year, Kyungi Province has undertaken the operation of winter shelters for these traveling service employees. These winter shelters were opened at 241 locations, including the Kyungi Provincial Government Complex and fire stations, by utilizing existing resting facilities and open spaces, including lobbies. Kyungi Province also operates shelters for driving service employees at strategic locations in the cities of Suwon, Sangnam, Gwangju and Hanam so as to create a fair society in which labor is respected. When a new business fails, it is often unable to restart due to difficult market environments. In order to help such businesses with their revival efforts, Kyungi Province will operate a revival fund. With annual sales of several billion Korean won, this enterprise manufactures radio components used in mobile phones and 5G communication devices. It exports these components to more than 10 countries. This prospering enterprise is run by a founder who failed in his first attempt at this business. Despite initial challenges, he succeeded in his revival efforts with the help of Kyungi Province, securing business space and equipment. Kyungi Province recently established an investment cooperative through which it will directly invest in the revival of businesses. Investments will be drawn from a fund of 15 billion Korean won provided by a fund operator, financial institutes and universities. 70% of the funds will be invested in SMEs with 8 billion Korean won invested in revivals. 선폐업이 아닌 그 선창업 후 후폐업까지 그 투자할 수 있도록 그 근거 조항을 마련하였습니다. This fund will operate for 8 years until 2027. 기왕이면 이번 저희가 꼭 성공해서 다음부터는 저희가 공 하나 좀더 붙여 가지고 또 시행하고 그게 우리 젊은 세대 또는 새롭게 창업을 도전하는 사람들한테 희망이 되어 주면 좋겠다는 생각됩니다. Kyungi Province's revival funds are expected to initiate a virtuous cycle of startups in which revived companies produce significant results. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.